Greetings YouTube, happy Monday, and welcome to a video that I'm pretty excited to talk about because it's different, right? It's different than some of the videos we're used to seeing. Some of the offers that we're used to seeing, it's kind of gotten a little stale in my book. You're seeing some of the same offers come back in cases like last week, an offer that was higher priced than it was in January, but this is kind of a new offer and new territory for Kabam. So let's talk about ratios today. And let's start by grading the lesser crystal shards uh, cash on the very left side. So, of course, these tiers are really designated at what you are in the game. So, you know better than I do watching this what your roster is, what your needs are. But the premium hero crystal is for beginners. And I say this is the worst value for your units. 100 units most likely for a two-star. Not worth it, especially because units are pretty scarce when you start out. It's not like you have a roster to fight in the arena or anything. So... You get a premium, which of course is 100 units. You get one-fourth of a three-star, which, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't put that in any more value than 50 units. And then you get half of another premium and one tier one alpha catalyst. Now, I got to be honest, back in the day, one tier one alpha catalyst would have cost probably about two to 300 units by itself. Keep in mind, if you just want one Tier 1 Alpha Catalyst in the arena, that cost you, what, about 800,000 arena points? So I think for 150 units, especially if you're just starting out and, and you're not doing Map 3, so you're not going to have a chance to get Tier 1 Alphas, I think that's like a B-plus deal for beginners. Now, of course, it depreciates in value depending on how much further you are in the game, but I think, you know, the Tier 1 Alpha is what makes that a B-plus offer. And it's a unit-based offer, which I appreciate because you can save up units before these come up. And in theory, free-to-play players have the chance to get these. You do not need to spend cash on them at all. Now, the second deal gets way bigger in price. It adds a zero onto the 150 and is 1,500 units worth of a price tag. And that is a significant amount of units. Keep in mind that if you were to buy units with cash, you could only buy 1450 for 50 bucks. So, 1450 for 50 bucks, you'd still be 50 units short after $50 cash assuming you started with 0 units to get this. Now, this in my book is the worst of the three offers, and let's talk about why. Chances are with this ultimate crystal, you're going to get a 3 star. You're going to get 80% of the people who do this on average are going to get a 3 star, a 3 star value right now maybe 150 units by itself, maybe. You only get three tier one alphas for 10 times the price of the left one. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, math-wise. This should at least be five tier one alphas, and even then it wouldn't be a great value. And then you get one-fourth of a four-star hero crystal, which I have said before, and I'll say it again, at the current state of the game, a great value for a four-star is two four-stars for 20 bucks. So you're saying for 50 bucks, we're going to give you one-fourth of a four-star hero? Go home, kabam, you're drunk. And then 1,000 three-star hero crystal shards, which again, if 1,000 three-star hero crystal shards are half of a three-star, and I said just now that I wouldn't put a three-star at more of a value than 150 units, that's only 75 units worth of further value. So 75 units worth of value, 500 four-star shards, I'll give those maybe 100 units worth of value, so that puts 175 unit value, three tier one alphas, maybe another 200 units of value, and then a three star. The, the left is solid, solid value, especially for 150 units, which is pretty much nothing when you grind for units in the game, or even when you start out, you can still get 150 units pretty easily. The middle tier, I think that value maybe is 500 units. If that was a 500 unit price tag, I might endorse it, but I'm going to put that middle offer at like a D minus. I don't see... For the majority of people, why this is good, if they had replaced the ultimate crystal, just think about this. If they had replaced that with a straight-up four-star hero crystal, I still wouldn't give it an A. I still wouldn't give it an A. And now you're going to go from that to uh, most likely 80% three-stars for 1,500 units? Just shameful. So left, B+. Middle, D-. Now the right one 
is really what I'm fascinated about because it brought back the July 4th 2 to 1 ratio. Well, Prof Hoff, what do you mean by that? Well, it is it is basically saying that we will give you twice as many 5 star hero crystal shards for the units. We saw the 1 to 1 ratio for a long time and I hated it. Basically, the game was saying if you give us 2500 units, we'll give you 2500 5 star hero crystal shards, hence one 5 star hero crystal shard for every unit. But they've doubled it to 5000. They've given you what will most likely be a uh, four-star hero, but still, 20% of people will get 15,000 five-star hero crystal shards worth of value for 2,500 units. That is a fantastic deal to those people lucky enough to get a five-star out of the legendary crystal. And if they pull like a demigod or god tier champ of legendary crystal, the value is like the greatest 2,500 units you've ever spent. But that doesn't stop. Now, if, if, if the deal was just for those two items, I would say it's probably a B value. But we know that there are other items underneath it, so let's get to it. Half of a four-star hero, not much to see there. Again, maybe 200 units worth of further value. And five tier one alphas or the exact amount that you're going to need to rank up a five-star champion, even from rank one to rank two. So I think the right side value, given the current state of the game, probably is at least, at minimum, given what we've seen other unit-based offers, 6,000 to 7,000 units worth of value for 2,500. And that's a minimum value. That's assuming that you're going to get... Uh, a four-star hero out of this, but somebody commented on one of the last videos I talked about the uncollected bundle, which by the way, this this deal today also officially bumps the uncollected monthly quest offer down even more because now we've got the two-to-one ratio officially in something besides July 4th. But let's just say for the sake of argument, the guy commented, for the average, why don't you just put the legendary crystal at 2,000 units worth of value? And I, you know what? I said, sure, that makes sense. Well, that's 7,000 units worth of value just by the top two items. Then another 200, so we'll say 7,200. And then another five tier one alphas. I'll, I'll put 100 units apiece. That's 7,700 units worth of value for 2,500 units. That's a solid offer. Anybody that says, I want to get this, I'm going to say go for it, especially if you need five-star shards. But I want to say this, as I say in every video. If you have to spend cash that you don't have, don't get any of these offers. I love unit offers because as you can see in the top right of my screen, I have hoarded 23,000 units and do not plan to get any of the offers today as I am very much specifically waiting for Stark Spidey in the arena, which will probably never happen, Tier 5 Basics to come back around, or Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst. Those are the only three things that I need. I can be very picky, but most people are not like me, and I completely understand that. So, in review, the left offer, B plus grade. The middle offer, D minus. And then the right grade, I'm actually going to give a B plus to A minus. You know, and that's the floor for this. There are going to be people who, and that's assuming you get like a four-star Kamala Khan, Satan herself out of the legendary crystal. But if you pull a five star, I don't care if it's a Satan herself, Kamala Khan, out of the legendary crystal, especially if you don't have her and you can at least use her for the arena, that's a, a solid A value. So really fascinating for me to grade all three of these because the, the grades are so different. B plus, D minus, A minus. Those are my thoughts. I hope this has helped you decide whether or not to spend your units. Again, I really encourage people who have the units and don't have to spend cash to buy the offers that I have graded. But if you don't have the units and you don't have the cash, just don't be tempted. Don't play the game. Don't get yourself into further debt. Be responsible. It's just a mobile video game after all.